we have a special obligation and a special responsibility. Especially now, as we slowly emerge from the COVID pandemic. What we saw here in Harlem, as well as in other uh, black and brown marginalized communities at the start of the COVID-19 pandemic was the pot beginning to boil over. We have long known that this pot of uh, health inequities have been simmering um, long and bitterly in our community. We strongly believe health and well being should be accessible to all and for all, and that health equity is a moral imperative that requires a business solution. We are, uh, to some extent, not 100%, um, the products of our environments, correct? And that environment includes our social community, our social networks, our built environment, our air, our water, all of those types of things. And we know that in communities that are impoverished, often they're also considered environmental justice issues. We believe that everyone deserves a fair and just opportunity to stay as healthy as possible. And that requires a thoughtful and deliberate approach to improving the health of women. We as a country, in order to get um, people to trust in the, in, the, in the healthcare system, we've got to look at transportation, food, housing, all of these things and figure out how we're going to finance them and support people um, in every aspect of their life um, so that we can hopefully prevent illness and at least, and at, or at best, you know, manage that illness. That's what we do. You form a treatment team and a treatment plan but a lot of times you forget to include the patient. And that's the integral part of what we need to do. What I think is our need is how do we actually do when we design solutions? How do we actually create solutions that are about putting the person, the individual, the family and the community as the sole basis for design? We have a responsibility to share information to share best practices, to learn from one another. We know and understand that equal access to high quality, affordable health care for every person in this country, including women, needs to be a priority. So gratifying to bring together such an illustrious, forward-thinking group to help us frame these critical issues and form the important relationships necessary to propose solutions as we forge forward on this journey to raise health. We have a lot of work to do, and there's a long road ahead, but if we stay optimistic and upbeat, we stay together, we stay sharing views among each other, we build that community of caring, we will succeed. Progress is a journey, we keep moving forward.